everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser and 3D Noob. So, here's what we're gonna do today. I don't know what happened. Um, it's never happened before. So, I was actually 3D printing something last night and a lot of times I'll run it and then get up in the morning and pull off whatever I printed, start a new print, go to work, come back, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So I get up this morning and there's an alert on my phone um, and it says that the print has printed successfully. And I come down and on my build plate is a bunch of tiny little incomplete pieces. And I pull that off the build plate. And what I find is that the filament, I try to retract the filament, it won't retract. I try to extrude it, it won't extrude. And what I'm hearing is some like some light grinding inside of my, my hot end there. Uh, so I've got some stuck filament inside the feeder. Um, what we're gonna do today, this is gonna be real quick, is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to take that feeder off of the hot end and clear out that what, what happens happens is that plastic's got a little pressed down somehow and it won't go down, it won't go up. So we're gonna take that apart and clear that blockage, re put some new string in it, some new filament in it, and extrude it, and we should be all right. So with that, let's move over to the printer and get this thing fixed up. Okay, so here is our nozzle, here's our, our hot end, and what we're looking at right here is on this side, this screw here, and this screw here, and then if I turn this thing around, and push it back, we have this screw right down here. Okay, so you can kind of see that. My hand gets out of the way, but that little screw right there. So it's only three screws to pull that out. And then there's a couple more to take it apart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove those three screws and we're gonna pull this thing out. And I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so we're gonna pull this one out. I'm trying to do this from behind the camera is interesting. And of course that happens. Sometimes they feel like they're all the way unthreaded, but because of the head, it's hard to get a hand on it. Oh, fingernail, there we go. All right, so there's the first screw. That goes on that side. And what else, the other thing you can do, guys, this is really simple. This little cover piece, it just pops right off. There's nothing holding that on. That's what we're actually trying to get to right here is this little guy. So, all right, let's turn it around. And now we've got this guy and this guy right here. This one comes out pretty easy because nothing's in the way of the Allen wrench. And then this guy down here. Now, if you try to pull this out and it doesn't pull out, you're going to need to take your nozzle off because uh, the filament might still be attached. But odds are that filament's probably going to be broke down there. And there's that screw. 
Now, we pull that guy out and that's going down into the hot end and that right there is uh, where it broke. All we gotta do is take these two screws off here, this one up here and this one down here and we'll be able to pull that out. Okay, so we've got that pulled off. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take those other two screws out. If I find what I did with my Allen wrench, that's all right, we'll use this one. So these two screws here, one here, one on the opposite corner on the bottom. And this one. Be real careful not to tug on the wires that this is attached to. And you don't have to take these all the way out. That actually might be enough. There we go. So there's the gear right there. And this is where we need to get to here. So let's go ahead. We are unlocked. Yep. Take that out. Take this all the way out. Now we can pull this apart, hopefully. Come on, you can do it. Well, let's take that all the way out. Screw down. It should just pop off here. Come on. All right, come on. There we go. And there is our problem. So we're a little bit jagged right here. So it'll push up and down to a, a point, but there is a little burr right there. And that's what's preventing us from extruding or extracting. So we're gonna go in with some snips and right up towards that top. I'm gonna snip that. That top piece pulls out. Now I'm gonna push this in as far as it'll go. And again, right towards the top. I'm gonna give it a little snip. Pull that bottom piece out. And now all we've got is just that tiny little piece. And now you'll see if I take that piece of filament, we've cleared that clog. I'm going to go in from the top. And now we're all cleared. So now we just got to put it back together. So here's our two pieces. We've cleaned that filament out, nice and simple. We're just gonna push that together. Um, actually right now in the locked position, we're going to take this guy, okay, he, and get this lined up. Goes just like this. We'll take that first screw, 
See if we can get that one started. And that is started, that's good. Take that screw, get it started, and then we can just go ahead and tighten both of them. Nice and snug, not over tightened. Nice and snug, not over tightened. Take that, get that tube out the way. And this thing is going to slide right back down into place. Let's get these screws back in. Bottom one back in. Turn around. And all we gotta do is get this bottom, this one in here. There's only one on this side. Nice and snug. And the last thing to do is put our little cover on right here. Come on. guys so that was nice and easy we cleared that and we got it all put back together it's probably you can do it for the first time if you've never done it before probably in about 10 to 15 minutes otherwise if you're not messing with cameras or anything like that I mean it only takes about five minutes in and out and it's done it's nice and simple so with that guys please hit that like button hit the subscribe button over there in that corner thank you for coming along today and we'll see you guys in the next video have a great weekend